Hello everyone, Big Mike here, aka Kari for Purple Laugh Trip, bringing you guys and gals. Woohoo! Man, chapter 84, entitled Escalation. Now, everybody knows, everybody pretty much figured out that there will be no One Piece My Hero Academia this week because last week's chapters that came out was supposed to be for this but again it came out early so that's, that's that so it gave me a chance to do some uh, a one punch man live reaction and i'm gonna do the one that's 100 plus chat 100 plus pages so this might be a long one okay so uh by the way uh just an update um i am saving up for Freaking microphone. I saw one that's uh, a bit in my range financially, so just you wait. Because I've been hearing a lot of stuff from family and some friends that have uh, watched um, my stuff and my best friend's uh, videos that they can't hear me that well. Well, duh, I'm only using the laptop. But again, I know things have to progress, things have to change, things have to upgrade. And that's, that's again, that's been something that uh, has been in the back burner for quite a while. And when I say back burner, financially speaking, we just need a lot of money. Or we just need some money so that we can, you know, get things rolling. So, um, let's dive into this chapter, shall we? All right. So, let's see, okay, I'm seeing Watchdog Man, Saitama coming out of his, uh, uh, furry costumes, nostrils, so uh, yeah, hey, One Punch Man, All right, oh, okay, starting with the first, what's that, that, God, H5, there you go. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Silver Fang pretty much just slapping the hell out of Goro. Goro. Uh, also with the help of his brother. Oh, I think it's only Silver Fang. Pretty much just hitting haymakers at each other. Uh, I'm assuming Bang is blocking all the shots that Garo is producing right now. So that just says a lot, uh, especially the fact that Garo has been fighting the hell out of a, uh, again for since since like a long time now. It's fought Metal Bat, it's fought some other uh, heroes, Class A's, Class B's, and he's been poisoned, so he's kind of, not in, a, he's kind of not in the position right now to be facing a person like Silver Fang or Bang. Hey, okay, yep, he's just getting, just, he's just getting his face Pretty much you get God. Okay. Alright. Masterful move a uh, masterful movements. Melding offense and defense as one. What a highly perfected flowing water rock smashing fist. Both sides may be used may use the same style, but the difference in skill is undeniable. This fight is already over. Why the hell is this a hundred plus chap, a hundred plus pages? I already got knocked back. Gao grabs Silver Fang's hands on the wrist. Is he gonna attempt to crush him? Nope. Gonna knee his master on the face. Uh, is he gonna eat that? Nope. 
Oh. So. All right. So this how this is how I saw. This is how I see this. He pulled him in, and then by that situation, knee that he was about to throw at Bang's face got squeezed in as well. That let the free leg of Bang to get in and whoop, hit a knee of his own right out of the jaw of Garo. I'm assuming he grabbed his ear and then pulled it. Garo's now twisted in the air. Two kicks from Silver Fang right at the midsection to the upper torso or uh, right no, probably the chest part. Yeah, the chest and abdomen. I'm assuming Garo, and he just sent him back. He just sent it back and hitting those trees. For crying out loud, we're only at page 14. He's relentless. He's just gonna go. He's just gonna go right at it. Garo blocks the shot. That doesn't help. Bow pretty much collapsed on its own. What the hell? Never saw old fart go crazy like this. Well, Gara is trying to get rid of you. He's trying to pretty much beat you already. Damn, I'm blacking out. I'm really gonna die. Dirty tactics. Sand. Um, I'm assuming that I'm assuming Bang did something to deflect that or something. Uh, Bang tried to hit him, try to hit Garo. Garo escapes, and just what in that ludicrous posture? Hmm. And just what is that ludicrous posture? Now, where did you learn that, young man? You seem just like a wild beast. Not yet. I can buy some time if I grab one of these bodies. i to use a hero as hostage. Now think of something. No, you don't. Oh, Bang's brother. Just kicks him to one of the monsters. The kick alone, the air pressure alone, pretty much killed two monsters, cut them to pieces, and Gar was just surprised as hell. Bang. We're done with the bug infestation from that hole. The only matter left now is handling Garo. Still picking up biological signals of monster types or uh, monster monster type organisms, but for some reason I can't seem to cert, uh, certain their location or number. Does this tunnel lead all the way to the Monster Association headquarters? The creeps from the Monster Association all done for already. Is it up? Get out there! In order to capture Garo alive, we made sure to dispatch plenty of battle power. But who could have guessed that a demon cyborg could be that true? Who could have guessed that that demon cyborg could be that strong? With Silver Fang still on the scene, there's no chance can find a breach to spirit him away. However, if I just go home like a fool after sacrificing troops for no reason, I might be the next one to end up in Orochi's belly. My only chance is to somehow get Garo out of this situation. All by myself, it's hopeless. Maybe I should just run away from the association 
start planning my life. <laughs> poverty out there, a bit of poverty coming from that bird. Okay, say, brother, if you're taking that much, da uh, if you're taking that much damage, would you still be standing? If I was just 60 years younger, there's no question I could have handled something like that. Probably. Anyway, bang, it's almost done for. Let's end this before the other heroes show up. Hanging up on Garo. I've lost movement in my arms too. He came to backstab his ex best pupil right when I was almost beaten already. What a shitty old man. It's more. Old buddy of uh, this old buddy he's got with him. It's beating me like a dog. Ain't that the master of the world with iron cutting fist bomb? The two greatest masters of the martial arts world teaming up to bully one single guy like this. So they don't even care about their reputation anymore. I could I could put up an act and beg for my life. Even if I could if even if I could uh, even if I could can this old man uh but even if I could, can this old man? There's no way Demon Cyborg is letting me escape. I'm really at my wits. I'm really at what? Uh, I'm really at my wits end here. The only way to pull through is hopeless. Uh, pull through this hopeless situation is to destroy the hell out of all three of them. Okay. Okay. Now, under the impression there might be a monster cell here. That he might be ending up eating. I'm gonna be disappointed by that. Yeah, right. I'll have you feel the same pain as my star pupil Charanko. Oh! Let's play hero. You're coming too, right, Garo? Yeah, come on, huh? Sure. Ta -da! Ta -da -da -da! Worry not for Justice Man is here! Worry not for Justice Man is here! Justice Man kick! Ouch! Hey! It's too dangerous, huh? Dude, look at him! If you care so much about this kid, you're the monster next! Justice Cross Chop! Why you ran away, stupid? Sorry, Tachan, you made me scratch my hands, you know. Why did you... Why do you... Why are you gonna ruin... Why are you gonna ruin it for everyone? You're supposed to be the monster. Hey, guys, grab him for a while. Okie dokie. Just a man, kick. Monster... Monster guitar destroyed. Hell's all this, my life's flashing before my eyes. Now this are some real old real crappy memories. This kid was right Tacha. He was the really big fish in the classroom back then. What's up? Why are the boys fighting now? One uh anyone called teacher yet? Gar's throwing a fit. We were just kidding. But he got angry for real. It's gotta be crazy. I can't take anymore. Tachan, fight me! Huh? What are you going on about? It was just a stupid hero game. I don't want to be the monster anymore. It sucks. Fight me now. If I win, you promise to leave me alone. Hey, Sabu, Tochan, grab him for a while. Yeah. Coward, stop. Let me go. Damn you. Now, this guy is flipping out. Someone called a teacher. Watch him run away while you can. Hold him down, hold him down. What's this? What's this? Right on time. You guys, too, help. Come. Thought he could bully Tachan. Just cause Tachan is a good boy. How awful. Hey, uh, uh, they say Garo got really pissed off playing some make believe hero. <laughs> what's up with that? What's going on in his head? Poor Tachan. Uh,. Got it all mixed up. <laughs> Crazy kids. 
Tarchan had a lot of charisma. Tarchan had great reflexes. Tarchan this, Tarchan that, Tarchan yeah, I get that. The bully got away with everything and Tara pretty much got the uh, uh, other end of the stick. Why did why did you pick a fight with him? Teacher Tarchan is always, I heard you got angry because of, of a game, isn't that true? He's always making me play the monster and can't you, t can't you tell me from real life? I can't. People are just saying those things because Tachan is popular and I'm not because you're being a bully. You think it's all right to break up? Uh, it's all right to break up? I'll break up windows? I did not. So I just pissed off because I didn't want to be the monster? Because I could not ever accept someone Tachan as the hero? No, that's has got nothing to do with it. What I felt with those hero games was that the whole system is completely absurd. A system where the popular guy loved by everyone beats down a much weaker guy who everyone hates. What you did was wrong. Say sorry. I'm going to call your parents now. Hero isn't that just the description of a bully? Okay, now we're making some sense. Or a make-believe game was an exact imitation of the TV series that our society targets at children? Sure, you can pick your roles, but playing with others, you'll depend on their approval to be accepted as the hero. My turn would never come. Needless to say, there was never any story where the monster wins in the end. From the very beginning, I was destined to be humiliated. Evil. What is justice? All those pretty mean, uh, those pre all those pretty words mean, uh, all those pretty words mean is that I should go and die because the majority want me dead. This is absurd. I'll go to hell. Maybe I can't understand the reasons, but I'm still pissed off. All I want is to make them understand this. To make it eat one good. Punch from a losing side. To go beyond this viewpoint. Good and evil. Okay. It's another punch in his face. This is it. End of the line. God, we're only at page 37. As if I ain't about to kick the bucket here. As if I ain't about to kick the bucket here. Carl smashed the ground. It made oh, oh! Almost the entire area is crumbling, collapsing beneath their feet. Oh, pretty much picks up the tree. Batter up! Batter up! Oh! Ow! Oh, his body was completely broken! What is this freakish power? It's high time you surrendered, Taro. Can't you see? If you keep this up, your life will be truly forfeit! Hang above you! Okay, he's using his wings to blow him, go bang the others away. What, Garo? A monster! So there was still one left. Yes! You saw him just as well as I did just now, Bang. He's all, is a full blown monster now even has comrades I'm shooting them put down can you hear me I'm taking Garo with me you're free to destroy all those grunts on the surface I'm leaving the rest to you
final incineration cannon, Elder Centipede! A giant centipede guy that uh, Metal Bat was trying to beat up. Um, he's not going to get, he's not going to die with just that. I'm sure he's not. He's not. He just tanked it. The beast that he is. What in blazes was that? There it is. Oh, there's Centipede. Freaking gigantic monstrosity. We're halfway through this chapter, my God. Master level dragon, massive insect monster, Elder Centipede. Damn, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a thumbnail. What the? I could, we must save them. Is this truly a living, breathing creature? Okay, they save all the A and B class heroes. Biological signal I was picking up. So it was that thing. It wasn't that I was unable to determine its precise location. It was in fact that huge. Sink! And it took a direct hit from my cannon and didn't even suffer a scratch. This appears to be a truly troublesome opponent. That centipede. What the hell are you? What the hell are you guys playing at? Who asked you to barge in? Just pipe down and leave the rest to other centipede. He is a calamity. He is a calamity incarnate, devouring all on his path. I cannot help but admire his overwhelming destructive power. As usual, he sucked at following through Hero Hunter. Oh, as usual, he sucked at following through Hero Hunter. Once you've got them down for the count, you gotta keep choking the life out of them until there's absolutely nothing left. Such a wasted opportunity. Those heroes on the ground are still alive. But, but well, you can relax. Elder Centipede will take care of everything for you. Quit butting and quit butting in where you don't belong. Let me down. There, my prey. Hey, now, quit struggling. Turn back, you freaking bird. I'll make you regret this. What are you in such a huff for? You're the one who failed to finish them off. And what's more, it's incredibly convenient for. And what's more? It's incredibly convenient for us. We can eliminate two S-Class heroes right here in one fell swoop. After all, for, monst for the Monster Association, the most formidable and urgent threat is precisely the S-Class. You experienced it first, didn't you? In any battle, any battle, compatibility, uh, any battle compatibility is the utmost importance. According to Giro Giro, Gyro Gyro, our military advisor, among all of the heroes, there are only four who would be able to face Elder Centipede head on. Tsumaki, Little Knight, uh, King, Class. Yeah. Oh, you know what? The way that he is being drawn right now, I'm really thinking about that theory or fan theory that Bang, Bang, Saitama. Just with hair. 
apparently the reason why Elder Centipede joined the association specifically uh, was specifically to find Bass and take revenge. Bass almost never shows up in public, but now he might be drawn into a big battle. Uh, into a big battle. Elder got quite excited. As for those two, too bad for them, but they simply have no means to break even from his silver. Uh, oh. But they simply have no means to break even from this. Silver Fang may well take pride in his perilous martial arts skills, but the size of his enemy utterly exceeds the reach of uh, a hand to hand fighting. As for the Demon Cyborg, his capabilities are frighteningly excellent, but he surely lacks any embedded weaponry designed to deal with a giant monster such such proportions. His firepower can never exceed the equipment he's been loaded with. That's the hard limit for Cyborg. With a group like that, the only possible result is their complete slaughter. He's coming! <laughs> Posing like Sentai, Sentai characters. Okay, here you go! Here you go! Ah, uh, 6 to 9! Gina's firing away some lasers. Uh, they're preparing some sort of uh, attack. Wind, throwing water, blowing void, ripping fist. Oh, a dirty move. Oh, right on the face. Got sent back! Elder Centipede just got sent back and oh! Depths on the armor are showing! Look at that! What a mighty technique! We have a good trick, but it needs to fall, uh, to fall on opening. Yo, yo man, we're counting on you for smoke screen. For smoke screen. Just pulverize that hard carapace. Uh, yeah, carapace. This is the culmination of Marsh martial skill. Oh, he's still going at it. Okay, there it is again. Doing, he dodged it and then he attacked. Sent two brothers flying. Ow, yeah. I left. Uh, I left myself open for that, but still our attack sank in. The shock is reverting through every nook and cranny. Damn bug should just burst put into pieces. That technique is a tad too much. We can only do it once. Now that we're old, oh. Can only do it once out of we're old. Good thing we managed to hit it. Thanks to your help, Genus. It's over. I'm under the impression that they just broke the shell. Because we're still <laughs> We're still on the 78 mark. Yep, I was right. They just broke the outer shell. Are you kidding me? Nope. And I, he's not. He was just molting the damaged Arapis. It war seems like he's got it even bigger. Okay. All right. It is insane!
Uh, I need water. I need water. Guys, just hold on for a moment. I'll just pause this and get that. Right, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Huh. Alright, this creature. We have to do something about this uncon about the unconscious heroes. Bang, what do you say? Even if we put up some dis uh, some distance, they'll simply rush after us. This park is surrounded by urban areas. If we lit if we leave the forest we'll just endanger the civilians. Face the centipede. I'll hold it off for as long as I can. You two take the injured with you and run. Young man, you mean to fight him alone? I cannot agree not agree with that. If you know debt is certain and respect your limits, you still have an entire lifetime before you. Genus. Just be aware of your limits. But is that really enough? No, it's not enough for me! Gee, ah! It is a going headstrong! I'm gonna go all at it! I'm assuming probably by the end, or probably within a couple more pages, we're gonna see say Thomas show up and then one punch. That's how I'm seeing this. This turning up like some sort of shadow, shadow Colossus type gig here, uh, Monster Hunter style as well. Too rash, genius. Firearms will not damage that thing. This monster, the one yesterday, too. Even borrow, they're all from the Monster Association. I cannot excuse myself from standing up to them. Oh, okay. Uh, blinding him? And then what? Equals full. Stabs the eyes. But there's a third eye. Oh. To the burrito rush. Oh, oh, oh! Jesus! This is what it needs to be in the war with this monsters. Oh, oh my God! Oh, my eyes. And I am enlisted in this war. Gonna grind you to pieces. That means pushing past my limit. Keep going like this, I'll end up. I'll end up dismissed. What are you doing? Self destruct? Okay. <laughs> uh. Um, he uses thrusters 
from his shoulders to accelerate himself and catch up his to ha the half of his body to put his legs and uh, go all GATTAI! Going all Super Sentai on us and is he gonna deliver a uh, rhyming kick right now? More thrusters! More speed! Jet to drive our- oh! Jet to drive our- ah, Hey! No! Okay! Okay! Uh -huh. Right on the- Where are you? Okay, right on the mount on the teeth. He's gonna break through. What are you planning? Are you gonna, you know, go inside him and then tear him from the inside? Is that your plan, Genus? Put himself into the mouth. Oh no! Just the fluid. You'll be melted to nothing in me in a matter of seconds. You're the one about to turn into nothing. Self-destruct? Oh, Oogie! Helix Incineration Brass! Bunny Beam! Bunny Beam! Yep! As I said, he just went inside and blasted him. He pretty much just cut him from the inside out. <laughs> maybe, maybe. We're not done yet, are we? We're not yet. We're not done yet. We're not. It's just gonna remove the outer parts of his shell. Once again, victory eludes me. Can't protect anyone. And they're running! Brother, grab those men and run! You can't. What's the matter? Is it too bad to leave their slaughter to another comrade? The heroes are all dying anyway. That ain't what this is about. I just can't stand the idea of letting things end like this. I want to defeat them with my own power and mine alone. And in doing so, I'll become the symbol of fear. That is my purpose as the hero hunter. You the symbol of fear? If the likes of you were to return to the scene of the battle and you just get squashed along with all the heroes, that be the end. As you are now, you lack the power to even hope to stand against the Elder Centipede, the Monster Association executives. Just you watch. What should I do? Say, come on, come on, come on. What did I lack? Are there still any more remaining that are in the same level as this monster? Facing opponents like this, can I co accomplish nothing except look on at awe and terror? Dang, this isn't, this isn't looking good. We've reached the end of the forest park. If this thing gets into town, there be, there will be innumerable, innumerable casualties. Not to mention, I can't run for very long while carrying all these people. Just how old do you think I am? It's all for nothing, brother. For the first time in my life, I'm going to unleash every last drop of my power. 
a centipede. Hey, you! Damn pest! I brought Bass, the one you've been looking for. That voice, it's King! Did he just say Blast? My word! Look! He stopped moving. Now he's looking back in the other direction. Blast! Yeah, that's the right! The hero Blast, the one you... Uh, the one who beat you so silly in the past that you turned tail and ran pissing yourself all the while. If you want another chance to fight Blast, then follow me. What's the matter? Are you scared that you can't even move? You damn coward! Hey, if you're gonna shit yourself, you might as well go home and do it. But if you ask me, a weak little insect like you is better off running back to the underground and sucking on your mother's piss. Other centipede has appeared once again in the city. And King has made it to the battlefield in the nick of time. Thank heavens, King will surely be able to take care of things one way or another. Yes, at the moment, there are still many heroes on the scene. When I inform King of our fears that they may get caught in the crossfire of his battle, he said, Give me information that I can use to provoke Elder Centipede. More than likely, King plans on luring Elder Centipede out and challenging him on a one-on-one -on -one fight. Like hell he would! In the past, Bass previously wounded Elder, uh, previously wounded and uh, wounded Elder Centipede. God, this chapter! Elder Centipede, in their battle, failed to capture him, and he managed to escape underground. It sure would be nice if we would if we could exterminate him once and for all. Although it is technically classified information, I informed King of their connection to one an Although it is technically classified information, I informed King of their connection to one another. Also, I raised to him our concerns about the likelihood of enormous damage to the surrounding areas if their battle drags on. And how did he respond? He simply said, understood. Although, with the roar of his king engine, I'll draw him to me so that one, so that the others don't get caught up in the battle. If you want to finish him off, good, it needs to be before he escapes into the depths of the earth. You'll only have a small window of time deliver the finishing blow. And to top it all, you have a narrow amount of space to work with. You can't afford to hit him with any attack that will send him flying into the city. That is all. Skitama. There you go. Aba. Serious series. Serious series. Oh, my God. Serious punch. Look at it. Right in the middle, 
collapsing pretty much from Oh it's still going Oh <laughs> this is such ridiculous power my it's still freaking going <laughs> Guys, you are following me. I'm sure you're seeing the ridiculousness of what Saitama is capable of. Serious, serious punch, serious punch, right on the face, through the body. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, jeez. So he was here after all. It was just as I, as you said, King. Yeah, it looks like we made it by a hair's breadth. It's a good thing we decided to come. Huh? Say, Tama, you look awfully refreshed. What happened? Yeah, my head just feels clear all of a sudden. I guess I had a lot of strength built up after getting my ass handed to me over and over at that game. I was still pissed about that? Well, our fighting style was just way too predictable. I was just trying to teach you that. Master Saitama, something I'd like to ask you is that, what do you think I'm lacking? Huh? Power, I guess. Thank you for your guidance. Uh, no? I really don't think you're going to get any more... Anywhere by using Saitama's reference, Genus. Master Saitama's battles are showing me the way forward. Symbol of strength. That is the goal towards which I should strive. That is where I'm headed. Arrow, so he's finally lost consciousness. Have yourself a good long rest. We will arrive before we will arrive for Orochi soon enough. That's it! Okay, that's it! Uh... Ah! Well, I was expecting Saitama. I keep saying it anyway. I'm sure you guys... I'm, I'm sure you guys... You've been listening all the while, right? So, ah, such amazing, ridiculous, crazy, insane power packing in just one punch. Amazing. All right, so guys, if you want to talk about this chapter, talk about it in the comment section below. Whew. If you think this confirms the fan theory that Blast is a Tama, talk about it too. If you like this video, like it. If you want to subscribe to this channel, please do ring on the bell to get notified of anything we put out. And yeah, have a great day. Have an awesome week. And too sweet to everyone.